A big thread throughout my work is whimsy and macabre um, and themes of just um, telling modern tales using uh, symbolism that one would see in like a fairy tale setting. I've always been interested in fantasy realms and how um, it's sometimes easier to tell a story about uh, uh, real issues using fantasy or made up creatures and I think that it's easier to resonate with like a larger audience when you take subjects out of the real world and put them into like a fantasy setting. I am currently working on this series um, and that is what uh, this whole talk has been about is um, the series I'm developing because a lot of my work I would say was commercialized or came from um, uh, you know more of an arts and craft background and this one I was able to develop these ideas that I really want to put in the setting of uh, fine arts, um, but using a medium that uh, you know came from an arts and crafts movement. The reason why I really like dove into fiber arts was because of the material, because of the way it feels, but also because of the way it transitions through different processes. So to be able to not only see works made by that material, but to feel it and then through conversing with, you know, a creator like me about the works to be able to understand how it got that way, I feel like it's so much more enriching as a viewer. Uh, going from someone that uh, would just go to the events held at the library to now someone who is uh, going to be uh, performing and, and um, holding an event at the library. I think it's um, really beneficial to uh, be able to get your work and your name and recognition out there in a space that's so like community driven. Um, it is a space that wants to bring people in and wants to bring people in to be intrigued by the work. So the way that they highlight things, the way that they promote um, local creators and, and local uh, just like uh, community members, I think is, is really beneficial.